How's it going everybody, Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own Unturn server. To get started, let's go ahead and open up Firefox here. You can choose your favorite browser. We're going to Google search Steam CMD. Click on the first link here. Then we're going to click on Windows. We're going to click on this little one icon that's right here. That's going to go ahead and download. Click this little folder icon over the downloads folder for us. When I click on the Steam CMD uh, zip file, I'm going to extract files. It's going to give me the Steam CMD folder. I'm going to cut that with Control X. I'm going to go to my PC, go to my C drive here. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it servers. Then we're going to go into that folder. I'm going to then Control V to paste the file. I'm going to create a new folder. We will call it unturned. Let's open up Steam CMD and we're going to double click on Steam CMD here and launch it and let the initial files initialize. Alrighty, now that that has initialized, I'm going to go back to this folder right here on turned. I'm going to copy this uh, path here. We're going to do force underscore install underscore DRR. I'm going to control V to paste that path in. I'm going to enter. I'm going to do login anonymous. Then I'm going to do app underscore update 1110390 and then validate. Then hit enter. That's going to download all the game files for us. So this will vary depending on how fast your internet speed is. So we're going to wait for that. All right, now that, that is done, we can go ahead and type exit. And then we're going to go ahead and start the server for the first time so we can generate some files for us. So for example, if we go to server here, we have no files. So let's go ahead and run the server helper real quick. We're gonna go ahead and hit allow access on that. All right, now that once we get to here, we're gonna type in shutdown. It's important that you actually shut down this server properly because if you just hit the X, these files won't generate here. So for example, now we have these files here. This is our config file that we're gonna to need to get to next. But if you don't if you don't type in shut down, it's just gonna have commands.dat. However, if you type in shut down, hit enter, it generates the rest of the files that we need. So you got the blacklist, whitelist, and then you have an admin list. So we're going to edit the dat file here for commands.dat. I'm gonna edit that with brackets. You can use whatever notepad editor you want. So a couple commands that we're going to do uh, for here is going to be like setting up like the map, the name of the server and all that kind of stuff. So for example, for the server name, we're going to do name. You can call this whatever you want. We'll call this devs uh, server. Uh, for the map, we're going to do PEI map. Again, you can do whatever map you want. Port. Uh, the default port is uh, 27015. Uh, if you want your server to have a password, you can do password uh, and then whatever. Uh, in my case, I'm not going to do a password. Um, we'll do the mode for like the game mode. In our case, I could do normal. Uh, you can also do easy or uh, you can do hard or you can do gold. This will only allow like gold members to actually be able to play the server, but I'm just going to do normal. Uh, then we got a perspective. Uh, this can lock the perspective to like first person or third person. However, in my case, you can do both. Um, max players is another one. Uh, so this is how many players you want on the server. I think the max allowed is 24. You can't go above 24. If you try to set it above 24, it will not go above 24. Um, then uh, you can do PvP or you can do PvE, uh, whichever you prefer. My server will be PvP. Timeout, uh, this basically sets the ping of... Um, the players have so someone has a ping limit, let's say 500, which is usually a pretty good number. Uh, so if their ping is above 500, um, especially on a PVP server, it's going to be very hard to play that server. So they time out with 500 ping. Uh, then you have another command, which I like to use is chat rate. Uh, this goes by seconds. So like uh, how fast someone can type in the chat. So, you know, once someone tests something in the chat, hit enter, uh, they can wait a certain amount of seconds. So let's say like two seconds. This way they can't spam the chat. And um, you can do like a welcome. This would be like a welcome message. So like welcome to my server. Oops, if I could spell it right. To my server. 
just for example, I'm not going to actually have a welcome message here. Then uh, once we're done with all the settings, you can do uh, control S to save it. Then go ahead and close that. Then we can go back to our main folder here. Uh, before we actually restart the server, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and open up the ports in the firewall. So let's look up the firewall. We'll select the advanced option here. We'll go to inbound rules, go to new rule. We'll do port, next, TCP. I'm going to do 27.0.15 through 27.0.16. We're going to hit next. We're going to leave this as default, hit next. Leave this as default, hit next. We'll just type in on turn TCP and then click finish. That's it. We can go ahead and close that. And we can start our server now. Just load up the, uh, just double click on server helper again. All right. Now that it's fully started up, I'm gonna scroll up here so you can just see this. So uh, for our uh, commands.dat file, you can see how it loaded up the name, the map, the port, the game mode, perspective, max players, PVE mode, uh, timeout, and the chat rate. So everything, everything was successful. And our server is now up and running. So we can go ahead and connect and play. And that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one.